We're fortunate today to have Zenon Bielis, one of our national champions in slalom barefooting, who's going to help us with our beginning barefooting. And so we'll probably start out with, uh, well, you've got a real pretty suit on here. Uh, is this one of the uh, barefoot suits that you yeah, use? The wetsuit specifically made for barefooting. It has padding here on the front for uh, deep water starts to a backward position, and then padding here on the back for a front deep water start. I see. You need a little protection for learning to barefoot. Uh, do you need this uh, Labrador suit, or can you start with basic things? Uh, anyone who wants to begin, uh, all they need is wetsuit shorts. But what two shorts? Uh -huh. Basically, that's a fine and a good pair of feet. A, good pair of feet and a <laughs> yeah. vest. And a vest. That's a good idea for beginning. And we'll we'll cover that in a few minutes. Now let's. I'd like you to help us uh, check some of this equipment. We'll go through a little bit more advanced equipment, just for people's knowledge in barefooting. But uh, then we'll come right back to doing some basic barefooting uh, with the very simple equipment and simple start. Mm -hmm. This is a forward step off ski with a large spin on the back, so it's very stable at 35, 40 miles an hour, and it also has very loose binding, so it's easy to step out of. This is a backward ski with the fin on the opposite end of where it should be, so you could uh, ride the ski backwards at 40 miles an hour to a backward start. Okay, this is a Kevlar rope used for barefooting. Uh, the reason why we use the uh, Kevlar rope is that it doesn't stretch us. And uh, next, to attached to the rope, we have a straight 15-inch uh, handle. It's thin and it's easy to grab onto, which good for tumble turns and deep water starts. Next, a barefoot. The next trick a barefooter would do would be a front toe hold, and to do that he'd need this kind of a handle. It has a special toe strap 15 inches past the bar so that he can put his, uh, put his foot into it and to recover from the, from the trip. Once the barefooter goes backwards, he can do a back toe hold. And uh, it's the same as a front toe hold, except it's a little longer because you have to reach a little bit farther. Once he, could do, once he masters those tricks, he could get into the start. This toe strap is made for uh, a front toe up and a back toe up, and the foot's placed into the strap, and the barefooter rides on his stomach or back and plant, plants his foot in and stands up on his foot either backwards or forwards. This is one of the easiest ways to learn how to barefoot. First of all, you get on a ski with a loosely fit binding and you put your heel over the heel rubber so it's easy to come out of. Next, you have the boat driver accelerate up to 25 to 30 depending on your weight. And you bring your foot up slowly. When it comes to planting your foot, it's important to plant about a foot away from the ski and a little bit forward. Next, you have the boat driver accelerate while he's accelerating, you should put about 80% of the weight on that foot and be in a good chair position. Once you're up to speed, you kick the ski to the side and put it about a foot away from the other foot. Stay in a good chair position. If you go back too far, you can just sit, sit down on your feet and come right back up. Hit it.
Once a skier learns how to barefoot, the next start he can learn is a two-ski jump hop. On that start, what you should have is loosely fit bindings, or you can put your heel right over the back rubber piece. Then have the boat driver immediately accelerate to the barefoot speed that you used to. Once you're at that speed, bring your skis about a foot apart, and bend at knees and give it a little hop. Not too much, just a little. And kick the skis to the side a little. By the time you hit the water, the skis will be past you, so you don't have to worry about landing on them. When you land on the, to a barefoot position, you have to be in that chair position again. If you're too far forward, you're going to flip. If you're too far backwards, you could land on your seat and come right back up. Keep the toes up and stay in the chair position. Another easy way to learn how to barefoot is off a kneeboard or a desk. The reason why it's easy is because you have both feet in the water. Now, have the boat driver accelerate up to 20 or 25 miles an hour and have him wait until you get steady. Once he sees that, and once he sees that, he should accelerate. When he starts accelerating, put your feet in front of the board right next to it with your toes up and most of the weight on your heel. Have the boat accelerate up to your normal barefoot speed and slowly stand up. The spray from your feet will automatically kick the knee board from behind you and you'll be up barefooting. Okay. Okay, the, a little more difficult start would be a deep water start to a barefoot position. To, a, to do this start, it's important to keep your body as straight and stiff as possible. To help do that, it, I recommend to put one or two feet across the rope. This keeps you from bouncing and keeps you right behind the boat. Next, keep the handle right at your waist. And when the boat, signal the boat driver by Having, having your head put on the water, throw your head a little bit behind you. What that does is the water hits your head and knocks you on top of the water quicker. Once you're on top of the water, uh, the next steps are easier than stepping off one ski because you have both feet in the water. Have the boat driver accelerate up to about 30, 32. Take your feet off slowly and plant them about a foot to 15 inches apart. Now the next step is very important, that's to keep your knees bent. When you plant, bend, bend at the knees. So what that does is you could wait for the boat to accelerate to your normal speed and stand up. If you don't bend and you try standing up like this, you're just going to flip forward. 
So bend at the knees, toes up about a foot to 15 inches apart, and stand up slowly to a chair position. Ah, uh, in here. Whenever you're ready. 